Hi everybody, it's me Renee. Um, I thought I'd make a video while I'm taking a break from cleaning my room. Um, what this video is about is what to say when you see a little person or just it regards that. Um, when it comes to being little, I know that I'm going to get stared at no matter what I do, uh, where I go, what I'm doing. Um, who I'm with, it doesn't matter. As long as if I'm out in public, someone always says something or just gives me like this kind of weird look. And um, sad to say, adults are worse than children because with children, they just come out and say, well, what's wrong with you? Why are you so small? Blah, 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 blah. Adults, on the other hand, they give me weird looks or they look away when I catch them staring at me. And um, it's just like, you know, they're no reason to do it, you know, because the thing that does bother me with adults and kids, it's really not even the kid doing anything exactly, but just if they point or just try to, oh, mommy, there's a little person, there's a little person, or mommy, there's a midget. Next thing I know, this is oh, this has, has happened a couple of times. The parent just totally smacks the kid in the head and don't look at her or be quiet, be quiet. And it's like, seriously, don't tell your kids that because let them be curious. And, you know, I mean, let them come up and ask why I'm small. And, you know, because it's like assuming, basically, if you don't know what's going on, you're just going to make it seem bigger than what it probably is. So if you have children or know someone who has children, Please tell them if they ever see a little person and their child says something, do not smack that child <laughs> because that's just sending the wrong message that, you know, they're not being encouraged to their curiosity or something <laughs> along that line. But, like, I know something that I get asked a lot is, did my parents do something to make me small? And the answer is no. My parents didn't do nothing. It wasn't. It's basically just my mom and dad. My former dwarfism is dystrophic dysplasia, which is one of the top three. But it's rare. So, um, yeah. Uh, the guy from um, Little People Big World, um, Matt Roloff, the dad, he has what I have. And it's one of the more um, debilitating kind because our joints wear out faster. Um, we're usually small. I'm on the um, taller end of it, which is odd, so I never thought I would be, but I am. But there are also a lot of dystrophic that are taller than me, so I'm three foot seven, so I guess that it, it can go as small as two feet up to, I've heard them being five feet. So, um, yeah, so my parents didn't do anything, just had the same kind of gene, pretty much, that went together. Um, Something else I've been asked, uh, can you do stuff on your own? Yes, I can do stuff on my own. I am very dependent, or not dependent, I'm very independent. Um, I I can dress myself, I can feed myself. Um, I, yeah, I've had a pretty normal upbringing, you know, um, just like anybody else. Um, my parents had two little people, me and my youngest sister. Um, they had us, and in between me and her, because there's five years between us, my other sister was born, and she's average height and stuff. And um, But yeah, we had a normal upbringing and whatnot, and just being little really wasn't a factor. So I went to school. I graduated from high school. I went to college. I got married, which <laughs> that's a whole other story. Um, I have a boyfriend now who I've been with for six years, going on six years. So I'm just like everybody else. I just need a stool every once in a while to reach something. Um, I can't, I've asked if I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Um, I use pedal extensions, which bring, basically it's just like an extension of the pedals that you bolt on. Um, can I have children? Yes, I can have babies. I don't, we don't have any yet. But, um, yes, I am able to carry a baby. Uh, what else? Life expectancy. <laughs> Just because you're small doesn't mean that you're going to die sooner or 
whatnot that had nothing to do with it whatsoever. Um, let me think, what else do I get asked? Oh, goodness. I think that's about it. But if you have any questions or comments or whatever that you want to know, please just leave a comment below or just message me and I can answer it to the best of my ability. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you want to learn more about my forum, I have a personal web page that I have a page about my forum of dwarfism you can look at. Um, I'll put the link down below um, in the video description. But um, I guess I want to leave it with if you ever see a little person, don't call them a midget because some people are more okay. Like my youngest sister, she's okay with being called a midget. I'm not. I find it a derogatory term that would be like calling, the way I look at it, it's like calling a black person an N-word. You never never do that because that's just rude and derogatory so calling a little person a midget is the same thing as calling a black person the n-word and you just shouldn't do it because you don't know if maybe that little person is highly highly offended by it so I just wouldn't use it period that way you don't you're not worried about who you're going to offend and who you're not going to offend um, but yeah, like I said, just leave any comments or questions and I can reply and if you have any video responses, that would be cool too. So I will say goodbye and I hope you all have a nice night and just, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.